In the shimmering tapestry of cinematic history, there exists a glittering gem that forever resonates with the rhythm of an era gone by. Picture this, it's 1977, the air thick with the electric anticipation of something revolutionary. And then it arrives, the movie that would imprint itself onto hearts and souls Saturday Night Fever. Can you recall the first time those iconic white suited steps graced the screen? The pulsating disco beats weaving their magic into your very essence. Perhaps it was a balmy summer evening or a cozy winter night, but one thing's for certain, the impact was profound. As John Travolta's Tony Manero strutted into our lives, his dance moves became an extension of our desires and dreams. With the dance floor as their canvas, characters swayed between euphoria and desperation, mirroring the dichotomy of existence itself. The glitzy fod of the discotheque juxtaposed against the gritty challenges of life sculpted a narrative that transcended time. Each spin, each twirl was a testament to the human spirit's unyielding pursuit of liberation, a pursuit that echoed in our hearts. But let's take a step back, onto the threshold of the dazzling universe that Saturday Night Fever wove. Behind the scenes, did you know that Travolta practiced those dance sequences for months, injecting a raw authenticity into his performance? And the Bee Gees infectious soundtrack. It became a heartbeat, a cultural symphony that defined an era. The disco ball's mesmerizing twinkle was almost like a constellation guiding lost souls home. So, let's indulge in some secrets of this celluloid wonder. Did you ever catch the subtle nods to Brooklyn's cultural tapestry painted through every street corner and subway ride? And the enigmatic, often heartrending dynamics between Tony and his friends, didn't they mirror our own bonds in unexpected ways? As we delve into these random yet enchanting facts, let nostalgia sweep you into the embrace of those days when dance and music were more than just entertainment, they were a way of life. So, what do you say, wanderer of memories? Shall we journey together into the heart of Saturday Night Fever and uncover its hidden layers? Buckle up, for the dance of reminiscence awaits. Saturday Night Fever, a 1977 film directed by John Badham, originated from a 1976 New York Magazine article. Set in the disco era, the movie follows Tony Manero, portrayed by John Travolta, a working-class Brooklyn youth who finds his escape in the local discotheque. Tony's charismatic dance moves and confident demeanor make him a standout, earning him the admiration of his peers and the affections of Stephanie, played by Karen Lynn Gorney. The film's unique style brilliantly captures the electrifying disco culture, embellished with a pulsating soundtrack featuring the Bee Gees. The iconic characters, led by Tony's transformation from a dead-end life to a dancing sensation, resonated with audiences and became cultural touchstones. The film's impact on popular culture was profound, influencing fashion, dance, and music trends. Saturday Night Fever remains a symbol of the 1970s disco era's glamour, struggles, and aspirations, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of cinema enthusiasts and pop culture aficionados alike. Travolta's double suit hustle behind the scenes of Saturday Night Fever in the neon drenched world of disco fever that defined the late 70s seconds. Saturday Night Fever emerged as a cultural touchstone, capturing the rhythm of a generation. Amid the glittering dance floors and pulsating beats, a lesser known tale unfolds one involving John Travolta's iconic suits. During the film's climactic dance scenes, John Travolta, in his star-making role as Tony Manero, famously grooved his way into our hearts. However, a backstage secret adds a sweat-soaked layer to his electrifying performance. According to revelations from the DVD commentary, Travolta's commitment to authenticity led to an unexpected sartorial challenge. He cycled through not one, but two suits, an unnoticed switch between takes and necessity born from his relentless dedication. Under the blazing lights and the feverish energy of the dance floor, Travolta's moves proved unstoppable, but his suits struggled to keep pace. Swept up in the moment, perspiration would saturate one suit, demanding a swift switch to the dry one while cameras rolled. This covert costume change allowed the filming to continue without pause, preserving the film's electric atmosphere. John Travolta's dual suit maneuver stands as a testament to his commitment to his craft, underscoring the lengths he went to create Tony Manero's indelible presence on screen. In this dance of dedication, Saturday Night Fever not only showcased the allure of disco, but also illuminated the dedication of its leading man. 
Travolta's willingness to break a sweat quite literally to perfect his performance added an authentic layer to the film's lasting legacy. So, the next time you find yourself lost in the rhythms of Saturday Night Fever, remember the unspoken costume choreography that kept the beat alive. Iconic pose of John Travolta's white suit in Saturday Night Fever, a spontaneous legacy in the annals of film history, a single image can etch itself into the collective consciousness, forever defining a movie. Such is the case with the 1977 classic Saturday Night Fever, where John Travolta's indelible pose, captured in an iconic poster, became emblematic of an era. Contrary to popular belief, this immortal snapshot was not meticulously planned. It emerged as an afterthought at the end of a grueling shoot. Recalling that pivotal moment, Travolta recounts, it was 14 or 15 hour day, and the photographer said, do you have anything else in you? And I said, oh geez, okay, how about this? Little did he know that this casual suggestion would resonate across time. Several months later, when sifting through photographs for poster concepts, Travolta was struck by the gravity of their choice. Oh my god, I can't believe they picked that shot, he exclaimed, unaware of the iconic figure it would soon become. This serendipitous instance crystallized the movie's essence a blend of spontaneity and rhythm that mirrored the disco craze sweeping the nation. Travolta's stance, with chest out and arms pointing in contrasting directions, encapsulated the carefree spirit of dance, igniting feverish excitement among audiences. While the film's plot left a lasting impression, it's this candid photograph that forever encapsulates the disco era's exuberant soul. The lighted wall and floor at Odyssey 2001 were not actually at the disco, but added in for the film. The blinking light effect on the wall was created by covering it in tinfoil and reflecting blinking Christmas tree lights off of it. Notably, the atmosphere of the now legendary disco venue Odyssey 2001 was artfully constructed for the cinematic experience. The pulsating allure of the dance floor was enhanced by a lighted wall and floor, an element not inherent to the actual club. The captivating blinking light spectacle, integral to the movie's electrifying ambience, came to life through ingenuity. By cloaking the wall in tinfoil and casting the shimmering glow of blinking Christmas tree lights upon it, filmmakers conjured an ethereal, entrancing visual display. The juxtaposition of authenticity and artifice, exemplified by the transformed Odyssey 2001, encapsulates the movie's creative ethos. These meticulous details, though not present in the original disco setting, seamlessly melded with the narrative, fostering an immersive world for viewers to revel in. Beyond the glitz and glamour, however, Saturday Night Fever sparked unforeseen consequences in certain corners of the world. In Singapore, the government banned Saturday Night Fever due to teenagers reenacting the Verrazano Bridge sequences as a test of their manhood. This mainly was occurring on overpasses or bridges where commuter trains ran underneath and fatalities resulted. The film's influence transcended cinema screens and dance floors seeping into unexpected domains. In Singapore, a wave of dangerous emulation gripped teenagers inspired by the adrenaline-pumping scenes atop the Verrazano Bridge. These daring youths, fueled by a misguided sense of manhood, sought to replicate the feats they witnessed on screen, perilously staging their endeavors on overpasses and bridges traversed by commuter trains. Tragically, this trend culminated in fatalities, prompting the Singaporean government to impose a ban on Saturday Night Fever. This unexpected consequence underscores the film's profound impact, which reached beyond entertainment to incite real-world actions, both exuberant and perilous. In the annals of film history, Saturday Night Fever emerges not only as a cinematic landmark but as a cultural force that ignited spontaneity, transformed environments, and even led to unforeseen tragedies. The dichotomy between the carefully orchestrated and the unscripted moments of the film, as embodied by Travolta's iconic pose, and the constructed allure of Odyssey 2001 reflect the pulse of an era that continues to reverberate through time. Brooklyn's beat, the untold challenges behind Saturday Night Fever during the filming of the iconic 1977 movie Saturday Night Fever. The dazzling disco moves weren't the only dance the crew had to master. Venturing into the gritty neighborhoods of Brooklyn for on-location shots, they encountered a real-life drama that added unexpected twists to the production. In the rougher corners of Brooklyn where the feverish disco culture thrived, trouble simmered. As the cameras rolled and John Travolta strutted his stuff, the locals had a different kind of spotlight in mind. 
In one incident, a firebomb was hurled at the 2001 Odyssey Disco, leaving a fiery message. Miraculously, no one was harmed, and the club suffered minimal damage. Curiously, troublemakers didn't halt at mere fiery threats. Kevin McCormick, a producer, found himself in an eyebrow-raising negotiation. Two enigmatic figures approached him on set, suggesting the need for security and demanding an eyebrow-raising sum for a neighboring business owner's favor. Stan, a bowling alley proprietor, wanted seven grand. Astonishingly, the demand was met, the payment made, and the disruption ceased. As the movie's dazzling sequences came to life, another kind of dance played out behind the scenes, the intricate steps of casting. Donna Pescal, aspiring to play Annette, auditioned a remarkable six times. Three auditions each for directors John G. Avildsen and John Badham. The seventh attempt, however, proved to be the charm for Pescal. Landing the role, she celebrated her first ornament selling free Christmas in years. While Denny Terrio is often credited with turning Travolta into a disco sensation, the move is Groovo's much to choreographer Lester Wilson. Despite Terrio showing Travel to the dance moves, it was Wilson who sculpted Tony's swagger. Paul Pape, who portrayed Double J, emphasized Wilson's role, underscoring that the movie was Lester. As the neon lights dimmed and the disco ball slowed its spin, the making of Saturday Night Fever emerges as a story beyond the dazzling dance sequences. From fiery threats to unexpected negotiations and uncredited choreographic brilliance, the movie's journey from script to screen was a dance of its own. As we bid adieu to the glittering dance floors and the soulful beats of a bygone era, we find ourselves in a state of nostalgia, our hearts resonating with the echoes of a 1977 masterpiece, Saturday Night Fever. This cinematic gem not only gifted us electrifying moves and an iconic soundtrack, but it also wove a tapestry of emotions that transcends time. As you've journeyed through the anecdotes and musings, perhaps memories of your own moments under the spell of disco lights have emerged. The swaying hips, the rhythm in your veins, the laughter shared with friends, all of these fragments might have come together to create a personal connection with this classic. Saturday Night Fever wasn't just a movie, it was a touchstone, a mirror reflecting our dreams and desires. Whether you were there in the 70 seconds or you discovered its magic later, the film's essence remains an evergreen reminder that the joy of dance and the pursuit of our passions are eternally intertwined. Now, I extend an invitation to you. Take a moment to embrace the memories, the emotions, and the beat that still resonates within you. Share your reflections, your favorite scenes, and the impact this film has had on your life. Let's create a mosaic of stories that celebrate this cinematic marvel and the lives it has touched. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the world of Saturday Night Fever, for dancing through its pages and reminiscing about its brilliance. Your connection to this film is a testament to its enduring legacy. Keep the disco spirit alive and let the rhythm of your memories continue to dance on. Warmly, 